make it, make it, do it. Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Nah, 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 that, that don't kill me. Floor cleaning machine. I'll admit it, not the most glamorous of items. But every year in Europe, cleaning companies are spending 6.4 billion pounds to pay for people who simply operate these machines around the building. Every day on the same route. And then on top of that, they need to pay a person who's monitoring how this person is actually doing their job. This is a process ripe for performance monitoring and automation. And cleaning companies knows this. It is one of the main reasons why they're putting so much pressure on the manufacturers of this equipment, demanding that they do more to improve it. We saw this firsthand in an exhibition last year in Berlin, where we talked with 30 manufacturers, and all of them said that they need to do more to automate their machines for their customers. Without bothering you with too much of the technical details, in order to automate a cleaning machine, you need to be able to track its real-time positioning in a building over a period of time. Manufacturers have failed to do this because they lack the expertise in cloud, data, and sensor development. And they also lack the employees with a different skill set. As a result, they have failed to introduce even the most simplistic of technologies in their machines. And this is where Squad Robotics comes in. We're providing manufacturers with an asset performance monitoring system and an indoor sensor system that employs hybrid computing. With this system in place, manufacturers can monitor and begin to automate their machines within a year. And once autonomous, our system allows for several machines to communicate with one another and execute tasks together in teams. This ensures a better cleaning quality and simplifies fleet management. Once Squad Robotics is in place, manufacturers can earn more by selling smarter machines and also selling our asset performance monitoring system to their customers. Secondly, they can reduce the operating costs for their customers by taking away the human labor and thirdly, they can become early innovators and lead the industry towards a data-driven approach. We're providing our solution to manufacturers with an ongoing licensing fee cost that we call Robot as a Service. And the great news is that manufacturers can actually see some of the benefits in our recent pilots. We've equipped six machines and we have more, more than 12,000 square meters worth of facility. And we have tracked cleaning equipment for more than 6,700 hours. It is in one of the examples of our pilots, the manufacturer could show to his customer that whilst they thought that they were cleaning the building, in fact, only 60% of the building was clean. You can see it there in the blue. Their staff never took a step into the white corridors at the end there. It is data insights like this that makes manufacturers excited as they can begin to monetize it already now. All of this is the reason why we're starting in the floor cleaning industry. However, the principles of automation can enable any manually operated machine, like a forklift or a construction trowel, and turn it into an autonomous machine. <coughs> Our competitors are focusing on providing real-time positioning for poor fleet management solutions or for automation. Only one of them is focusing on both, but we even have one up on them. Our system allows for several machines to work together in teams. Behind all of this tech is a group of two PhD scientists three techies and three business developers. We've had entrepreneurial experience in the past and collectively we won robotics competitions across the Baltics and even in Japan. And we're looking to expand this team as a part of a 500,000 pound financing round, which will be used for 
hiring a CTO, finalizing product development, and acquiring new customers. My name is Matis, and at Squad Robotics, we're guiding manufacturers into the autonomous era. I hope you join us. Thank you.